$100 on the line on this last match. It's going to be on the Terminus Re right here as well. In three, two, one, mark. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Terminus Re for the final match of the Bronze Series. Before we go into the grand final of the Shoutcraft Invitational, there's a $100 difference between third and fourth place, folks, so this is going to be tense. I bring you in the red trunks because I'm too tired to say his name anymore. I'll just push the button. TT Esports White Raw. There you go, folks. He is to the south of the Terminus Re versus his opponent, a mighty player who has held White Raw to two apiece right now. I give you Mouse Sports Mana. Ah, yes. As I drink from the Murloc Stein, I drink in the tears of haters. It is wonderful. They paid for that. Okay. Well, we have seen two apiece. A gutsy play from Mana, which did not work in any way, as you can very clearly see. I was kind of doubting the choice of map to really try to pull off some kind of play like that. White Raw was very well aware, extremely well aware of what was coming in. No worries for him whatsoever. Gateway coming up right now for both, and it looks like we'll probably end up at another double four gate, because that's just what Protoss v Protoss Gen tends to be, but we'll find out, certainly. Scouting action going on right here, let's see if he can find his opponent at some point. Mon actually, no, he's over there, he should find him first, perhaps, unless he ends up heading in that direction. No differentiations in the build, at all, yay. As it is, folks, it is what it is. It is PvP. The most exciting matchup of all time. Gateway coming down and complete right now for White Ra. What has he got to follow it up? Will it be kittens? Probably not. Cybernetic score, I suppose, will have to suffice. I wanted kittens. I'm not getting them. White Ra ate all the kittens. He is a big Russian bear. I'm well aware that he's not Russian. Don't get me started. We made the joke earlier, and if you weren't tuned in, then, well, well, you weren't doing it right. You missed out on some fantastic action. Cybernex core right there. Where's the gateway, Mr. Fox? Where is the gateway? Mana doesn't have one. Not building a second one up right now. Cybernex core there. Two gateways coming up for White Law. Double assimilator as well. See what happens to come out of that one. Mana still with a not another gateway. He's in a one gate. Boosting out that. And I have to wonder if he plans on doing anything with an early robotics or something like that. We'll find out. Of course, he could follow up later on. Not chrono boosting that cybernet. My god! Why? <laughs> Every time. Uh, it's, it's, it's not even worth me saying anything, is it, really? I think he's not doing that. Oh, yes, he is. There you go. Gateway at the front right here for Mana, and it's two gateway approach for both of these guys for the time being. See what engagement works out better for which. Quick clean up right there for White Rod, doesn't want that anywhere near. Damn scamps, get off his lawn. My mouse is going crazy. There we go, problem solved. My apologies for the spazzing out right there. Robo coming down here for White Rod, and two more gateways for Mao's Mana. See what he decides to do with that. Another pylon coming down as well. He is on the two assimilators. So I wouldn't expect to see any four gate play, honestly. Seems unlikely. Robotics or Stargate is more likely, or of course, Blink Stalker. Blink Stalker would make some sense. Depends on what White Ra decides to do with that robotics. Is he going to go for the Colossus, or is he planning on going for something else? The gateway into the robotics. That's the interesting difference between White Raw and his opponent. White Raw tends to go for the robotics facility on two gates and then follow up with the third gateway, whereas Mana prefers to delay his robotics facility a bit and go for it after he has three gateways up. I suppose that gives him the ability to apply a bit of early pressure if he wants more to the point, warp in additional defensive units if a four gate comes in. That seems to make sense. White Ma is sorting himself out quite nicely over here. Gets his Observer sorted. We can look at the army supply, and we'll see that it is pretty much equal with a slight advantage to Mana at the moment. An Immortal on the way. 
That should certainly do the job, considering there's pretty much nothing but stalkers on Mana's side at the moment. Sentry up for both, of course. A little bit of defense going on. Why would you not build this? Sentries are wonderful things, folks. They really, really are. I'll tell you, if I could build ravens at tier 1, I would be a very happy person. As it turns out, I cannot. That's upsetting. You know, I would like to go for a four-minute Seeker Missile attack. That would be the best thing in the world. Unfortunately, no. Oh, look! It's the Observer mating dance! Come here, my little Observer, come here! No, no, I refuse. I'm not into you. Why? Ah, oh, you're the wrong color. It's a racist Observer, as you can see. War of the Worlds action coming on right here. Double Robotics Bay on the way. Otherwise, completely identical in every respect. Who will end up cleaning up right here? Either way, one of them is walking away with $100 and one with $200. Fairly big difference between the two. The Observer finally escapes the clutches of the evil racist Observer. Actually, is it White Bar's Observer that's racist? Or is it Mouse Mana's Observer that's racist? Who knows? I condemn them both. In the meantime, uh, White Ra rolling out. He does have that Immortal in the back, which will certainly help him out there. And he stops his opponent from getting out of there. Big Fire coming in on the Immortal, and he knows that he needs it. The Immortal is able to take three Stalkers out before he finishes it. And White Ra cleans up right there. Warp Prism on the way for Mana again. What does this remind you of? Yes, absolutely. White Ra now with the Army Supply Advantage by one point. Doesn't really matter too much, and he is expanding. His opponent has not done anything of the sort. He's decided to go for a little bit of drop play, which I'm not entirely sure that's going to work out so well. We will find out. Almost takes the Stalker out. Very close. 4 HP right there. And White Ra sent home with his tail between his legs, I'm afraid. No free Stalker for you today. The coupon has expired. As we can see, army supply difference is negligible. That Nexus is what's going to make the real difference. Mana doesn't have anything of the sort. However, he does have a Warp Prism. The question is, where is it? There it is, folks. Three Zealots coming in. A Warp in from White Ra. The cooldown just came off on that. And it looks like White Ra's going to see this coming. He sees the Observer, but does he see the Warp Prism? Where is the bloody Warp? There it is. It's hiding in the rocks over there. Those are not rocks, I know. White Ra not quite ready to receive any kind of Warp Prism play right here, but I believe those are off cooldown. Yes, they are. He could very easily warp in. He warps in three more Zealots. Now would be the time to go in if Mana decides to go for it at all. Army count is in favor of White Ra as a result of having, one, this expansion, and two, of course, no Warp Prism. White Ra rolling out right now, but still, this Warp Prism is a risky, risky thing. If he forces, well, if he sends his entire force and then three zealots end up in the back of his base, that could do damage to his economy. However, he does have two bases, so I think he can probably endure that. But still, it wouldn't be good one way or the other. White Ra scouting, and the racist observer is annihilated, and we can all feel very good about that. Justice was served. White Ra still with three gates, nothing else. Pile on up right there, and now White Ra rolling out. This would be the time to go in with that Warp Prism drop if he plans on doing it at all. Warp Prism still hanging around. Just keep an eye on that, folks. There it is. Perfect timing, honestly, as White Ra rolls out to try and deal with the forces of his opponent. He does have a slight army supply advantage, but this drop in the back of the base could be dangerous, and that's what, exactly what's happening right there. Big damage coming in right here on the mineral line of White Ra. He's going to need to, one, warp in, which he can't do quite yet. Doesn't have the cooldowns. He will in a second. That's going to delay the economy of that. And in the meantime, some War of the Worlds action going on right here as White Ra tries to drive his way into the base of Miles Mana. Is he able to do it? He has a good force right now. Army Supply going heavily in favor of him. The Colossus stay alive as well. However, he is outnumbered in that regard. He's got a good force of Zealots. But of course, they will be cut apart by three Colossus very easily. One Colossus taken apart as Mana goes in for the counterattack right here. Trying to drive his way through it. The Nexus is almost down. He's going to take heavy losses right here from those Colossus. The Colossus remain alive. One goes down. Looks for the second. Lots of Zealots torn up right now. White Ra is so very close to bringing that down. He really, really is. There's still Zealots in the base, unbelievably. There it goes. He's able to take out the expansion. Worker Supply is in favor of his opponent, but it doesn't really matter all that much because that base is still alive. Looking for the cleanup right there and is able to get it. It was a good attack. The question is, can he defend against any kind of counterattack? Army Supply is now equal. Looking for the rebuild right here. Economic advantage will swing in favor of White Ra once he's able to get the probes down there to actually do the mining. He did lose quite a lot, as you can see right there. Eight workers killed by Mana, only four killed by White Ra. 
So it's more equal than you would think, perhaps. Extended Thermal Lance upgrade coming up right here for Mana. Surprised to not see him have it earlier. White Ra has had it for a while, needless to say. Still on the three gates, still relying primarily on those Colossus. Mana rolling out once again. He has a slight army count advantage, but he doesn't have the range. That may prove to be critical. Two Colossus out on either side, one with the range, one not. Mana is aware of the presence of them. He knows where they are. He knows their location. The question is, will he be able to successfully engage them? If he goes in slowly, of course, he will end up having that range upgrade, but it's not looking like he's going to have that right now. There he goes, pushing his way in there. And, of course, the range was neutralized right there. And White Ra is going to have to bring in a few additional reinforcements in order to deal with this. He doesn't quite have what he needs just yet. Did that War Prism get away? It did. It's down there. So let's try and not lose track of that. Mana pushed backwards without too big a deal. White Ra is looking to get an economic advantage over his opponent, and he has done that successfully. He has six. Once again, more harassment coming in. Takes the pylon for free. No problems. Not able to respond to that. A little bit slow, those things, unfortunately. Mana trying to rebuild this base. White Ra's income is looking pretty strong right now. The question is, can he actually do anything with it? Stalker's trying to drive it, and they finally take that War Prism out. Took long enough. White Ra still behind army supply-wise, but with a heavy worker advantage. Still only on three gates, by the looks of it. Four gates, never mind. One robotics facility up. White Ra still playing a little bit defensively. Needs to start getting things rolling quite nicely. He has this economic advantage. He needs to put it to good use. And that's what he's attempting to do. He sees what's coming. Three Colossus in that group. Range upgrade is now complete for both. A few Stalkers as well. Army count comparison now swinging once again in favor of White Ra, which is to be expected. A lot of Zealots right there. They might get torn up quite unpleasantly. That's now four Colossus, and that's big damage coming in on the Robotics Facility. Can he stop that from happening? That's pretty damn important. Zealots take a big damage as they go through, and Mana with great micromanagement right here, playing very efficiently, takes a Stalker out and a couple of Zealots in the process. Army count advantage now swinging in favor of Mana. This is looking good. This is looking very, very good for Mana at the moment. He's able to come back from some devastating losses. However, White Roll with this economic advantage now swings in, and it's got to be a Colossus fight. What can I say? Plenty of Colossus fighting going on. That single one charged down there by Mana. So a little bit of an advantage in terms of that. And it looks like White Ra looking to try and flank it. He comes in from behind. He loses all of his Colossus in the process, but can he snipe off the rest of it? Needs to bring that Colossus down. One down right here. White Ra falling behind very significantly. This is not good for White Ra at all. Those Colossus remain alive and deal terrible damage. That's not good at all. Mana is cleaning up here, unbelievably. It's looking very, very good, even with the economic advantage of White Ra. It doesn't matter. Mana continuing with the push right here. White Ra really has barely anything to defend against it. Four Stalkers. Four Stalkers and a single Colossus. Now the probe's coming off the line, and this could be the ender. One Colossus sniped off. Able to at least clean up by the looks of it, but it's still looking messy for White Ra. And now the economic situation has equalized. Mana moving in with additional units. If he charges in there, it could get messy. In fact, it will get messy. He doesn't have the numbers he needs. Colossus taking big fire. As you can see, cleaning up quite easily. Mana pushing his way in once again. 31 to 19 right here. This is not good for White Ra, not at all. He's able to push him back, but only just, and that's a very temporary situation. Does he have what he needs to do? Warpins. He's chrono boosting out as much as he can. He has another Colossus on the way. He should be able to hold for a while. Army supply count is starting to close once again. There's the proxy pylon. Mana wants to finish this. Observer picked off once again, and White Ra actually with a very badly damaged Colossus. That's going to prove to be a little bit problematic. However, can he catch that Colossus out of position? More to the point. And can he snipe it off? He doesn't. He actually keeps it alive, unbelievably. Then finally losing it. Unfortunately, White Ra does need a lot more units in order to deal with it. He's got another Colossus on the way. However, Mana has two. Two coming in right there, and Mana dealing a lot of damage right here. Cleaning up quite nicely. Still, there you go. GG, ladies and gentlemen. Mana takes it. Was looking pretty dodgy for White Ra that entire time, honestly. But there you go. Mana takes it, and he is third place with White Ra in fourth.